I tell you, those ox cart merchants have got no interest in following regulations. It's a disgrace, it is. All merchant ox carts are forbidden from traveling after dark, on account of the danger out on the roads. Yet we've had multiple eyewitness accounts of an ox cart carrying freight a night. There's an investigation underway now. People are calling it the Phantom Ox Cart, as if there's such a thing. Why people have to go stirring things up is beyond my ken. Our hands are full enough as it is, thank you. I learned of a forgotten rift stone in this area during my time beyond the rift. I can take you to it, if you like. If you wish it, I shall- I brought the number that you requested. I'll take it this will be enough. Aye, nicely done. Giddy, you lot. Here's your payment. Thank you kindly, sir. Ordinarily, coin like this would take me half a year to earn. And I'll thank you to spend it wisely. Don't go drawing undue attention onto yourself, or that'll be the last you get. An ox cart traveling a night is suspicious enough in its own right, if to have known that I'm carrying pawns across the border. I know. And I'll take care of it, I swear it. Contact me again when you've need of more cargo, won't you? What is it? I've got naught worth following me over. Pray let me go. Hold, I beg you. I was approached by a battalion merchant I met at the border checkpoint. Aye, I know. Here in Vermin, there's nary a deed more abhorrent. But you have to understand, my gambling debts were like to drown me. I needed coin, and I needed it fast. I know not where they've been taken. Pray, believe me. Here, take this. It is a document I got from that merchant. If word of this should reach the palace, I'd no doubt be disciplined. I might even lose my post. I'll give you all the gold I got today. So pray, I beg you, I swear, I'll ne'er do aught like this again. Oh, I suppose it was too much to hope for. It is all over for me now. Many thanks. We'll take it from here, sir. Worry not, he'll receive his due soon enough. You have my fullest confidence. Yes, Your Majesty? Ah, so you've encountered the Phantom Ox Cart from the rumors. To be precise, the letter of the law does not forbid the abduction of pawns. However, in our sovereign rule kingdom, crude treatment of the pawns who so loyally serve our liege is an act decried by all. If one were to sell them for personal gain, they would doubtless be censured no matter their station. And this letter, by its make and the quality of the parchment, I can only surmise tis of the like used in the palace. We ought to assume a member of the court has a hand in this matter. But for what purpose are these pawns being gathered? And where are they being taken? I have a proposal, Your Majesty. Should we ascertain the pawns' destination, Perchance we will discover the intent behind this plot. Yet if we question the driver haphazardly, this mission will be over before it begins. I bid your majesty follow the ox cart without arousing suspicion, that you might divine where it is headed. Alternatively, mayhap your majesty could assume the guise of a pawn and await pickup in a likely location. I leave the choice to your majesty's discretion. What's this? Only pawns? 
What's that dullard playing at? Suppose it's all the same. The car goes all I need to get the job done. In you get then. On your knees, worthless vessels! Perhaps a more thorough examination is required here. Wait! You're not a pawn. We've an intruder in our midst! To arms! You dare! Always a pleasure. You have my fullest confidence. Has there been some development, Your Majesty? Well, now. You have divined the Oxcast's destination, then. I see. So they were procuring pawns in order to carry out this excavation. The staff you mention is most curious. It sounds as if tis of the same make as the jewel wielded by the Queen Regent's puppet. I had heard pawns face much prejudice in Batal, yet to hear that they are treated as tools to be discarded and given such perilous task, tis contemptible indeed. Volcanic Island has long been part of Batal's territory. The Lake of Lava present there is revered for its flames, which are sacred to the Batali people. Perhaps it would be considered blasphemy to give such work to their own. Or could this simply be a means of testing the efficacy of these jewels that allow for the control of pawns? I can offer naught but conjecture. For now, we ought to aim our efforts towards proving that a member of the Vermundian court has been selling pawns. Should we succeed, even the Queen Regent herself could not deflect the people's displeasure. You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. The evidence you have gathered shall form the stalwart pillar upon which our rightful claim will rest. It is most valuable. So pray, exercise the utmost care when deciding how it ought to be used. At least here the Queen Regent shall face justice. You have succeeded where my own master failed, Arisen. A result to be proud of. <laughs>